Okay, everybody. So I'm going to walk through a very, very simple strategy. This is really ideal, actually, for authors and entrepreneurs, but really anybody who wants to teach a course and wants to do this in a creative and fun way and on a bootstrap budget. I would also uh, say that this is a great approach for folks who want to create audio-centric courses, uh, folks who don't want to necessarily sit in front of a um, you know, a, a, a camera and record lots of lessons and things like that. I count myself amongst that group. I don't like video uh, lessons. I prefer mostly audio as a consumer and a student. And therefore, uh, for me, this makes it really, really easy to actually scratch my own itch and record the sort of content that I appreciate as a teacher as well. All right, so there's a PDF available if you're part of our community uh, where you can actually follow this step-by-step. -step. I'm gonna post this on uh, YouTube as well. So if you're not part of our community, you hopefully will get a lot of benefit out of this uh, too. And the last thing I'll say, this is actually pretty close to the example in real time that I'm teaching here. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're actually going to be seeing these steps that I'm actually covering here in a real example, which is important to me to be able to actually demonstrate the, the thing that I'm actually teaching here. So you're actually going to, by dint of watching this uh, video or listening to this on uh, YouTube, you're actually going to get an example of this process pretty much in full. All right, the PDF uh, in your uh, content, uh, you know, the, in your dashboard <laughs> says Gumroad plus transistor plus video plus framer. And then it says online courses for authors and entrepreneurs, a simple strategy for creating an audio video course and monthly membership site on framer on a bootstrap budget. All right, so let's begin. There are a series of simple steps here in the PDF. I'm just going to go over them uh, here. And again, if you're in the community, you have the PDF and you can ask questions about this as well. All right. So this is a really super simple strategy, and it actually allows you to bolt and build in all kinds of other cool and creative ways. You can simply start with this basic uh, skeleton template and then apply whatever fun and flexibility works best for you. It's a simple starting point. You can scale up and scale out as is comfortable for you and whatever you're building, your content, your courses, and your community. All right, the first thing is what you're hearing me do right now. The first step begins, says record audio with your software service or tool of choice. In this example, I'm going to be using the free uh, Anchor app, which is now owned by Spotify. Uh, on my iPhone, this is, I'm reading this actually, uh, but other tools and apps like Audio Pen, Noted, etc., have a have additional benefits for creating content that, that is transcribed that you can then turn into a PDF. So the one fact that I just read that's not true about this particular audio, I'm actually recording this on Audio Pen right now. So I'm not actually using the free Anchor app. There are reasons to use the free Anchor app uh, that I think are. Um, you know, uh, applicable to many folks who are going to be, uh, you know, doing this in particular because Anchor is free, right? So that's pretty advertises its benefit pretty clearly. Uh, Audio Pen is actually a fee based uh, app, as is Noted, etc. All right, Noted being another app that you can use on your phone and on your desktop to record content, to transcribe content, et cetera, which is great for like PDF eBooks and things like that, uh, you know, in addition to the audio video content that you're gonna be giving to your community. All right, the next step says do this next. You're gonna send audio content to Transistor.fm. This is the podcast service. Uh, the reason that I recommend Transistor.fm for this uh, and you have to pay for this. This is a paid uh, piece of this. I pay for it uh, because it will automatically publish your audios that you send to to Transistor to YouTube once you sync your channel and your podcast, right? So you're actually going to be just dropping the audios into your Transistor podcast uh, you know, that, that, that applies for this particular, let me restate that you're actually going to be creating, you can create as many podcasts as you want. 